Alrighty everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Ram's Astro. It's been a while since I've done a video like this. It's been a while since I've done one like this. If you're new to the channel, I am Ram's Astro and I look at random crap on my table. And I play video games at the weekend. So, it is January 2021, not 2020 as I said in the last video. It's been a few weeks since the year began and I thought I'd do a video showcasing all the Ghostbusters stuff that I got at Christmas in 2020. So usually I get a few Ghostbusters items at Christmas time because it's an easy item for friends and family to get me as I love Ghostbusters. And this year I got quite a lot of Ghostbusters stuff so I thought I'd do a quick little showcase. So before we get that I'm going to do a jump cut where I've moved all this stuff off the table just to give me a bit extra room. Yeah, so that's that cleared off. So the first Ghostbusters item from my Christmas haul that I'm going to look at is my biggest Ghostbusters item. And it was from my mum and dad. And it is the Remote Control Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. I love this thing. I cannot wait till the summertime kicks in. I can take this out into the garden and drive it up and down the path. Because the carpets in my house are not remote control vehicle friendly. So I'm buzzing to get a shot of this. It looks pretty good from the outside of the box. Just looks like the Ecto-1, so let's have a look, so, yeah, we get remote control, it does make lights and sounds, but we'll do a jump cut for that because it is a bit of a nightmare to get the try me button. So here, the, here's a little hole for the try me button, the button is on the, the roof, I don't know if you can see it there, but I don't know if children are supposed to be, I can't reach that with my fingers, so what I've got to do is I've got to do this, and I just reach it. Come on. There we go. And that's what it does. Doesn't last too long because it's probably just on try me mode. So yeah, this is my biggest Ghostbusters item at Christmas. Uh, I love it. Thank you, Mum and Dad. So let's have a look at some others. I'm just going to move that up there so we get a bit more space to work with. So I thought I'd show you the next Ghostbusters item. It's also from my Mum and Dad. This was the last Ghostbusters item they got me. And it is the trade paperback of Ghostbusters Transformers Ghosts of Cybertron. I've not read this yet. I've not read the individual stories yet. But I will get this read within the next few days. I am excited to read it. I, I don't buy the individual comics as a release. I wait to the end of the year. My mum and dad usually pick up at least one of the trade paperbacks. They would have got me Ghostbusters year one. But for some reason the trade paperback of that has either not come out yet. Or is extremely hard to get. So if anyone has any information on the trade paperback of Ghostbusters year one. Can you please let, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Thank you. So that was from my mum and dad. So this next Ghostbusters item that I got is a t-shirt from my big sister. It is. It's got a couple of pictures of Slimer on it and a cool slimed version of Moogly, the Ghostbusters logo. Quite like this t-shirt. It is a smidge, just a smidge too tight on me. So this is going to be my new gold t-shirt for when I'm trying to lose some weight this year. Trying to lose some weight. So let's do a jump cut while I get the rest of the stuff ready. So this next item is from my little sister. I haven't opened it yet. I will be doing its own video on it. So this is just a quick wee peek. So I got the, she got me the Ghostbusters Trap box, Funko box set that comes with a t-shirt and a slimed Funko Pop of Peter Venkman. So I'm not going to talk too much about this as it will be getting its own video. So I will just sit that over there. So this next item was given to me from a very good friend. I have not, op well, I have opened it to have a look, but I've not used it yet. It is a Ghostbusters TV shaped heat reveal mug. So it's shaped like a TV with Ghostbusters on the TV. And so that's what it looks like on one side. And that's how it looks before you put any warm water in it. Then once it's done, it's going to be all slime. So there is a few different Ghostbusters heat reveal mugs out there. So I'm going to try and get a couple of them and do a video with this and them um, just to see how they all compare. But I'm really happy with that. I was buzzing, buzzing to get that. Buzzing. So these, all the rest of the Ghostbusters items I have were given to me from my brother and his fiance. So just to say me constantly saying this is from my brother and his fiance. Everything you're about to see is from them. 
and they got me a lot and I didn't deserve any of it but I am very grateful and very happy. Yeah, so the first thing that they got me was this Real Ghostbusters Annual. So I was buzzing to get this, it's in great condition for its age. I already had this book but as I said it's in great condition and it's in much better condition than the one I already had. So I'm quite happy this will replace the one on my shelf, the other one will just go to spare, see if my son wants it or maybe give, put it in a giveaway. We'll see. They also got me the Ghostbusters single on 7 inch vinyl. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I'll maybe see if I can get a little frame hang up on the wall outside of the packet. Not sure yet. I will figure something out. I will... Anyway, I'm really happy with that. Thank you, you too. They also got me these three. I've not opened them yet. They will be getting their own video. So these are Ghostbusters blind boxes from Titan. So they ain't afraid of no ghosts. They're all from Ghostbusters too. I've got three of them. We're doing a video on it, and so you can get all different characters from Ghostbusters too in it. The one I'm after, I would love Vigo. That's the one I would like most out of all of them. So I've not opened them. I'm not going to look too much at them because I'm, they'll be getting their own video. They also got me a Ghostbusters coaster. So it's got the silhouette of the main three Ghostbusters, Ray, Peter and Egon. Ecto-1, and it says, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters with some copyright stuff on it. So I was actually really happy to get this because for some strange reason over the last few Christmases people have been getting the Ghostbusters coasters and I seem to have a nice little collection and I've got no doubles, people keep getting me ones that I don't have. So this is going in the wee collection of Ghostbusters coasters. Don't know how you start a collection of coasters but it happened. They also got me this. It is a Ghostbusters bottle opener keyring, which is pretty damn awesome looking. I love the look of it. It's pretty heavy, so it must be made of pretty solid metal. The perfect present for all good spirits. I see what they did there. I see what they did there. So the packaging is basic Ghostbusters. Lots of warning tape everywhere. So I have the Ghostbusters 5 and green proton beams. I like it. I like it. I very rarely you drink bottles that require bottle openers but I've also got bottle openers all over the house hanging on little hooks so I doubt this will ever get open so this will probably stay sealed I'm quite happy with that next thing they got me something I've been eyeing up for years I was gonna buy I used to work in a call center and I was gonna buy one of these just to keep myself sane because anyone that's ever worked in a call center knows that you get stressed you really do get stressed and this is a stay puffed marshmallow man stress ball so you just squeeze stay puffed just give them a good squeeze same packaging as the key ring so they were released roughly at the same time so it's a stress ball or ball anti-stress feeling stressed then squeeze mr stay puffed so i like the fact you've got just random it's a stay puffed marshmallow man ghostbusters when did this come out when did these come out 2016 so these would have been released round about the time of the the remake coming out so that's pretty cool this will probably stay sealed i might buy a second one to open just so i can give it a squeeze when i'm feeling stressed during editing or whatever and the last ghostbusters item they got me is something i didn't know existed and i didn't know what it was when i first looked at it it took me a wee it took me a while to figure out what it was and okay, we can see it's Ghostbusters. Press for sound. It's a sound bag. Everybody knows what a sound bag is. So I was looking at it when I opened it. And that's pretty cool, but what in the hell is a sound bag? So you look in the back, back, there's three sound bags to collect. Press for sound. So let me, I'm going to bring this up to the microphone. Let's see if I can get it to. Don't know if that's coming up on the mic. It's a weird... It's still going. I don't know if you can still hear it now that I've moved it away. Okay, it's stopped now. So it just plays a weird remix version of the Ghostbusters theme, just cut and chopped together. It was very weird. So, yeah, you get free sound bags, but there's other stuff you can buy. You can get a inflatable bopper with the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on it so that is now on my wish list I want that never knew that existed if anyone knows where I can get one leave a comment below you've got the Whoopee Cushion 
I've seen that online a few times, but I've never seen it in person. I would like a Ghostbusters a whoopee cushion. And you've got bubble wands. Everyone loves a bubble wand. Then you've just got... So you can tell this was out for the remake due to the stripe. Yeah, same year as the rest of the stuff coming out. So, yeah. I don't know how I've never heard of one of these. And I don't know who came up with the concept of a sound bag. It looks like it's the same idea as those fart bags that you get. That when you squeeze it, it makes fart noises. Pre-recorded ones. And they've just slapped the Ghostbusters logo on it. And changed the sound that comes out of it. But I'm not complaining. Not complaining. So that was the last of that items from my brother and his fiance. But then there was one final, final item that I didn't really want. But my brother and my little sister decided to hatch a plan and get me this because they knew it was a Ghostbusters item that exists that I didn't really want in my collection. I've got nothing against it. Nothing against it. It's just that it's not something I was wanting for my collection. But now I've got it. I've got it. So what is this item that you that I... Oh, let's just get it over with. It is a Ghostbusters crossover collection, My Little Pony. So we've got Plasma in here. So we have the Ghostbusters, My Little Pony. They're the Ghostbusters wearing the ghost. It's wearing the Ghostbusters jumpsuit. It's got slime green hair. It's got pink skin. So I'm not sure if that's just random pony colored skin or if it's to do with the pink slime from Ghostbusters. But yeah, so you've got two main slime colors. You've got Ghostbusters jumpsuit. You've got the Ghostbusters logo. Very prominent on the arse of the pony. Yeah, so you get some details. You can see that there's printed on pockets and zippers. It's an official Ghostbusters item from Hasbro. So you do get other crossover collections. You get Transformers and things. But this is the My Little Pony Ghostbusters. So there's a cartoon rendition of Plasmane. Looking, doesn't look happy. She does not look happy. Cutie marks and ectoplasm. I don't know what that means. I really do not know. So yes, this came out in year 2020, obviously, because only the year 2020 could produce such an item. So that is all the Ghostbusters items I got for Christmas last year, and I'm buzzing. As I said, I did not deserve all of them, uh, but I'm very grateful to the people that did buy me these presents. I am extremely happy with them. They will be cared for and looked after. So as I said, I'll be doing a video on these Ghostbusters blind boxes. I'll get their own video. Same with that Funko Pop unboxing. And when the summer comes, I'll be making a video of me testing out that remote control Ecto-1. So thanks for sticking with me all this time. I've been rambling on, rambling, rambling, rambling. Thanks for staying during the whole ramble. And uh, I lost my train of thought there. I rambled too much. That's right. Don't forget, have a gidgeon.